Cassius thanks. Take me inside. Like, how do you practice <laughs> for the slam dunk contest? Like, what, what are you doing to get ready? Oh, man. That's a good question. Uh, basically, you know, you get in the gym, you work on a couple of dunks, work on your, your routine, but uh, it's a weird situation because you don't want to out jump yourself too much before you actually get to the big day with when you're doing your dunks. What up, Cash? What's up? How you doing? What's going on, man? This is Jay Will. I'm here with Key, too. We're watching you flush it. What, what are you going to do that's different this year? We've seen so many crazy dunks in the dunk contest. It's obvious you got crazy bounce, man. But what do you got planned for us? Uh, I can't say too much, but I can say that every dunk I will do has never been done before. Mm, has never been done before. Never. Has this been a lifelong dream of yours uh, to get into the dunk contest? Yeah, it's definitely been a dream of mine. Um, since I was little, I watched all the dunk contests. So uh, finally being able to uh, be in it has been, you know, it's, it's pretty crazy, and I'm super excited for it. Who would, who would you have on your Mount Rushmore mm. of slam dunk mm -hmm. champions or slam dunkers, so to speak? Uh, uh, I'm going to go with Michael Jordan. We'll go with Zach Levine. Mm. I'm going to go with Nate Robinson. Mm. Hmm. That last spot. I might go with... Come on, I might Cash. give it to Aaron Gordon, just because he got robbed. Aaron, you're not going to give it to Vince Carter? Oh. Yeah, okay. Vince Carter. I got to take out Aaron Gordon. Yeah, let's redo, <laughs> let's redo that list. Let's redo that list, yeah. Cash. <laughs> yeah, let's... Duke guy. That's all right, man. You got, it's ACC love. It's same state. Same state. Cassius, let me ask you this. This is yeah, interesting. Yeah, Carolina. Gotcha. Let me ask you this. You've had an interesting journey here in your rookie campaign because you were drafted by the Pacers there in the second round. You've played with Indiana. You're moving back with the G League team, the Fort Wade Mad Ants. This is a part of the NBA that a lot of young guys go through that we really don't talk about that much because they're always watching games in the association, but you're refining your skills. You're helping two clubs at once. Take us through the whole process of sort of being on this team. Wait. Now I'm on this team. It's got to be sort of an interesting journey. Uh, yeah, it's definitely an interesting journey. Uh, this year has been, I think, the most interesting out of all of all of the prior years in the, of the seasons because this year is just a bubble, so it's only 15 games um, in the G League, and then you go right back up to your there's an association with your club. So um, these 15 games have been really good, super super good to just you know work on my skills, touch it up, and like you said, there are a lot of young guys, a lot of rookies down here. Uh, doing the same thing. Cash, tell people at home, though, so they can understand, because I, I spent a little time in the G League when I was trying to come back after my accident, uh, of, of how, how gritty it is. Like, you have people that are fighting for checks down there, fighting to make it, which is completely different than being in the league and living that first-class life. Oh, yeah, no, there's, there's a lot of dudes down here who, you know, like you said, working, got – Things got bills to pay. Just they're about it. They're grimy. So um, it's it's definitely not easy. It's definitely not a walk in the park. It's still highly competitive, highly skilled dudes down here. How do you think being you know it's only 15 games, but it's still pro basketball, professional basketball, and there's not a lot of guys that get an opportunity to play professional basketball, whether it's overseas, the G League, or the NBA. How do you think this is going to help you as you go back up to the NBA? Uh, with your game, polish up your game? Uh, I think it's going to help me immensely just because, uh, like you said, it's pro basketball, and any pro basketball is, is going to help uh, young guys' development, uh, especially coming straight out of high, uh, uh, college. So, um, you know, I think it's going to help a lot, and I think it, it builds that confidence, and it also just helps you refine your skills, especially this this past year. Uh, I mean, so all of, all of us young guys, the last time, we you know, we played – a lot of real games was like March 2020. So now you're looking at it, it's March 2021. So uh, it's just about, you know, polishing your skills up. Cassius Stanley, Indiana Pacers guard, joining us this morning on Keyshawn, J. Will, and Zubin. He's also going to be in the dunk contest this All-Star weekend. Cassius, when you look at the things that you were able to do in high school, the things that you're able to do in college, and bouncing between both leagues right now, how frustrating is it for you that you're not really getting everything that you wanted to get right out the gate? Um, I mean, I don't look at it as frustration. I just look at it as, um, you know, just just paying my dues, really. 
Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm still confident in my game, and uh, the organization is still confident in my game. So it's really just about, you know, uh, staying patient and, and staying ready. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.